All right, good morning. We are uh, back at it again. And we're back out in Tampa Bay. Last weekend we had a real good weekend, caught a lot of trout, caught a lot of snook. Just had a real good time. You know, I don't know what the day's gonna hold, but we're gonna we're gonna try to catch some fish. So I'll see you when we get out to our spot. On my way out to our spot, there's a lot of sand flats out here. Fish, but nice little trout. I'm trying to stay focused. I have, uh, even though I fish out in the bay, I have a spot on the bank that I line myself up with to find my spot. If you don't have markers that you can go by, you can you can fish all over this place and never be in the right spot. And the key to catching fish, obviously, is to be right in the right spot. I like to catch a variety of fish, but I really love catching trout. You know, I just, I can literally come out here on in days and catch 20. I can come out here in days and catch 70. Um, not necessarily all big trout, but, you know, I'm catching fish. And that's the whole part of it. So, uh... So me and my son fished this area for years and years, and we found this spot here. Nice little trout. And, uh, found a spot here and you know one thing about trout I grew up in Georgia on the Crooked River and we fished trout our whole life you know, like most fish trout is a ambush style predator they like to uh, hide and cover and when the bait comes by they like to lunge out there and get them so uh, for this particular area there's a lot of uh, tall grass it's about about 18 inches long down down low and a child will stay in that grass so what I like to do you see when I throw it out I don't do any special type of retrieve I just throw it out and bring it back but what I'm doing is I'm keeping this mirror lure soft plastic bait split tail I'm keeping it just above the grass and in this place here I don't know if you can see it there's a sandbar that runs to my left it's about 20 feet to my left and there's a mud flat about 100 feet to my right and in between is a section of grass that cuts through back towards Anna Marie Island. And this section has consistently held trout uh, in large numbers. Wait and see. Man, he hit that thing the time he hit the water. Like I said, we I've been fishing this area for probably six years now. And my son and I found this spot a few years ago. It just has all the right factors here in one spot for trout. Like I said, I use a mirror lure, soft plastic white bait. It's got a split tail on the end of it. And to me, that split tail is a lot better than a paddle tail. And uh, I just, I like the action of that bait. But regardless of what you use, you want to make sure when you put it on your hook that it is swimming straight. Because the idea is that you're trying to imitate bait fish. And if, and if it's not swimming right, you'll never catch a fish really important that that bait is swimming straight. I mean, if it's, if it's swimming like this, you can hang it up. Oh. And we 
we got pretty lucky today. You know, we, we when we came out here, we went straight on the fish. Um, the thing about trout is where you caught them, caught them yesterday doesn't mean that's the same place you're going to catch them tomorrow or today. So I told you I got this stretch of grass I'm fishing, but, you know, I, Typically, you just gotta find them. Once you find them, you can stay on them for a while. If you notice the bait has a little belly on it, I like to hook it where the hook comes out of the back. For me it just seems like it swims a little better coming out of the back. I mean there's nothing wrong with coming out of the belly and you know to each his own but for me I just like that coming out of the back profile of the bait.